there I am inside my guitar okay so hi uh, first off let me acknowledge that I have a very noisy piano bench all the time moving squeaking noise 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 just wanted to acknowledge that moving forward uh, so today I want to talk about guitar picks specifically these two guitar picks um, so for a long time I used these this is the Dunlop Tortex 0.73 um, man I bought a ton of them bought a big 75 pack so I would always have them they last forever I never had one break or tear unlike some other picks I use they're super easy to find on a dark stage um, and for my style of playing for a long time where I'm just you know strumming and playing rhythm I didn't do much lead I use them all all the time acoustic electric didn't matter uh, but then last year I started taking guitar lessons and so my instructor had me learning more just single line runs and jazzy kind of things and we talked about pick grip and I started holding my pick like this instead of like this and um, which in itself makes a big difference in sound um, but then he uses a thicker pick and so we started talking about thicker picks and he uses a blue chip which is uh, they're like 35 bucks they're made of a super special material uh, they last forever you can get your name inscribed on them blah 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 um, and I uh, just wasn't quite ready to make that kind of jump so I shopped around bought a thicker Tortex and a, a different pick and finally ended up on these this is the uh, the Jim Dunlop Prime Tone 1.5 so it's about twice as thick as uh, the yellow one and uh, I really like it it's probably Dunlop's answer to a blue chip honestly it's kind of the same dark brown gold color scheme I have the uh, what blue chip would call speed bevel on uh, the edges of it and I really like it at least on acoustic um, for a long time I just kind of didn't pay much of attention to uh, acoustics and how they sounded and uh, nowadays I just want a really chill acoustic sound I want it to be not bright and brash uh, I don't want it to stand out in a mix I just want it to be there and fill in the sound and so I'm um, playing a J45 I'm using these darker Martin Monell strings and uh, I'm using a thicker pick and uh, I couldn't be happier with it I really like it so I just want to kind of give an audio reference uh, to the differences between these two uh, I'm sure the playing is going to be sloppy that's okay uh, so here's the uh, the Tortex 0.73 <laughs> On acoustic uh, on electric I want my electric to be really bright and cutting kind of the opposite of what I want in an acoustic um, the electric I want to stand out and be heard I want to fill in a certain place um, and so I actually use this on, a, on electric it's another Altex which is the same material that uh, the prime tones made of it's a harder material um, they are a little more clacky on the strings compared to uh, and it's for some people that makes a difference uh, they can't stand the harder material and the clicky clicky clacky clacky uh, I don't notice it but um, that's okay so uh, just want to give this recommendation for the Dunlop Prime Tone 1.5 uh, one day I do hope to try a blue chip um, I've tried my teachers and I liked it his is uh, I think it's pretty similar to this but uh, he's a jazzy player and he likes an even darker tone um, than this so anyway I'd like to try that one day 
But in the meantime, these are three bucks a piece, maybe a little bit cheaper than that. These are 30 cents a piece. And um, I recommend both of them, but uh, really, I'm loving this. So I just want to give a shout out to the old Jim Dunlop Prime Tone. So thanks for watching. Hope that helps somebody. See you later.